fancy right now. <laughs> Something tray French as well. It's coco vin. And what you need for that is one large whole chicken with a very sharp knife. So you cut down the middle here all the way to the parson's nose. See there that I've got a chop and I'm cutting right down the middle of the backbone. I'm turn it over and I'm going to continue the cut right down the backbone. The sharp knife here, crucial. All right, so I'm basically now got my chicken. I can cut it right open if I want. I'm going to cut it right down the breastbone now. the pleasures of a sharp knife. It's one of the great kitchen implements. All right, to get the leg and thigh, cut through the skin, and then it's quite easy to cut because what you're gonna do is look for the joint and you can basically pull the joint out like that. Like that. So, then what I'm gonna do is kind of cut across here. Okay, so I've got breast and wing, a little bit of breast here, leg and thigh. I'm going to cut through the wing joint here. So I have, you know, some nice portions. And there you have it. A completely jointed whole chicken. Okay, give me my hands of wash here. So we're going into a hot pan now. Into this, I'm going to put some olive oil. And some butter. I'm going to put a nice size lump of butter, right? Because basically what we're going to do is brown our chicken in this pan. So you want to get it nice and really, really hot. And I'm basically going to sprinkle some salt. So it's just rock salt. Some pepper. All right, pan is looking nice and hot. So let's start browning le chiquet. Basically, you don't want to crowd the pan, so we're going to do a couple of pieces at a time, okay? What I'm doing is putting the skin side down first into my really nice hot pan. and you're gonna leave it to get nice on brown and then we'll turn it over. In the meantime, let's go and deal with some other things here, right? What I've got are some onions. Lots and lots of onions. It's totally delicious. So I'm basically gonna cut about 10 onions in half. Righty who it's my onions. Then I've got some really nice bacon. So I'm gonna use about five rashes of bacon. And chop those. Some garlic. So we four cloves of garlic and I'm just gonna kind of just chop them a little bit, right? Alright, let's take a look at our chicken. See how we're getting on here. That's it. That's what we want. Nice golden brown.
All right, let's take these guys out. Put them in there. Well, not quite one layer, but nearly. <laughs> Can I keep my oil nice and hot? Got all the great juices from the chicken in here, and I'm gonna put my bacon to fry in here now. So what I'm going to get is this, the juices and the fats that are in this pan are going to be so full of flavor. Cooking up my bacon. Grab this and pop it in here. Okay, now for the onions. fry up the onions until they become translucent. Alrighty, so onions are looking pretty decent. Those are gonna go in here now. Alright, like so. And I'm putting in all that lovely juice. And I've got all this nice kind of interesting stuff happening on the bottom of the pan here. So I'm gonna get my a little red wine. This is Merlot. I'm going to just deglaze the pan using a wooden spoon. Get all those nice drippingy bits cooked in there. Right. Yum scrum. And basically this is going to come into here now. Right. So let's season up this, uh, this cock over. Pop this on the stove. Turn the heat on again. So you see why we needed a much bigger pot, right? All right, so you're popping in some bay leaves, three bay leaves, and then I'm gonna put a load of fresh um, small leaf thyme in here. Just quite a lot, actually. You wanna make sure you get lots of flavor happening here. I think that looks good. A little more. A good measure. I'm going to put in a few of those sort of regular just pieces. Then I'm going to pop this here, salt, a little more salt, a little pepper. All right, then I'm going to pop my garlic in. Just get everything in there now. Spread it out a bit. Now, over this, I'm going to put a pint of red wine. As I said, I'm using the Merlot. Um, let's get this in here. Ooh, that's a lot of wine. That's a bottle of wine. Yeah, pint of red wine over the whole thing. And why don't we just finish it off because we're nearly there already. <laughs> okay, cover it up. And we're going to leave this on a slow simmer for 45 minutes. Okay, so my chicken has been cooking for 45 minutes and I'm going to add some mushrooms now. So I've got these beautiful dark mushrooms. Uh, I find they've got a nicer flavor than button, than button, <laughs> than button mushrooms. So I'm going to take the bigger ones and just cut them in half. Alrighty. Okay, let's take the lid off the pot. Take a look at that. Woo! Smells amazing. Let's get the mushrooms. And I'm basically just going to pop those in there. Just give it a stir. Get the mushrooms down into the liquid. Like so. Put the cover on. Cooking for another 15 minutes that's because mushrooms when they spring their liquid their juices it's totally delicious wonderful flavor so you want to let those cook for 15 minutes now 
Okay, in the meantime, I'm just gonna make a little flour and butter paste with a tablespoon of butter around about. And a tablespoon of flour. I'm just gonna kind of mix it up. Just force the flour into the butter. What this is gonna do is we're gonna add it to our all our wonderful kind of liquid that's in the pot, and this is actually gonna make a kind of roux and thicken it a lot, okay? So, right, let's just wait for the uh, chicken to cook a little longer with the mushrooms. Let's take a look and see how we're doing here. I'm gonna lift that up. Looks good, smells good. Now, what we're gonna do now is take everything out of the pot except for the sauce. We do this because we want to reduce the sauce. So everything is actually perfectly cooked right now. But what I have to do is I have to work on my sauce a little bit. So let's get all our beautiful chicken, and onions and everything out of here. I love food like this because it's so kind of, um, there's something very comfortable about it. It's not distressing on the palate or distressing on the tummy either. It just is, it just helps you kind of wind down, I think. So you want to make sure you get everything out of there. Alrighty, going back onto the stove. And what we're going to do is this sauce has to now cook down for a good, ooh, I would say eight to 10 minutes reducing and we want to reduce it by about a third okay all right so look at that the color has changed so we've got to this kind of beautiful rich brown instead of a kind of ready color and we're thicker and we reduced you can see from here that we reduced by quite a lot at this point so what I'm going to do is add the butter and flour mixture all right, now this is gonna thicken this sauce up beautifully. We're gonna stir it like a madman. Like so, let's get it all in here. You're gonna whisk it. Get all the lumps out and slowly, you'll see that your sauce gets beautifully thick. Look at that, it's beautiful. So we wanted to bring it to the boil Nice and thick. There we go. I think we're about ready. All my lumps are gone. So, let's do this. I'm just gonna pour this over my chicken. Oh, look at that. It looks beautiful. Yummy. Give me a little bit of time to garnish, just, just a little bit, not too much. And there you have it. Absolutely gorgeous cock on there. You can serve this with some potatoes, mashed potatoes, potato gratin, beautiful brown rice or something like that, a little salad. Absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm.